for fur, they could obviously tell that this would be not safe for regular fur trade traffic. Now please note just down below us those cement structures down in the water. I'll point out a few others if you want. There's actually a gondola, Swiss air tram, that actually extends from the highway 100 meters above us on this side of the river to take people down to the viewpoint. It's one of the rare times there's actually a gondola or an air tram that takes you down to the scenic view, not up the mountain. So this chasm currently is 33 meters or 110 feet wide, but it used to be much wider. That tunnel we just went through in 1912 when Canadian National was blasting with dynamite, miscalculated how much dynamite to use and the result was one of the worst man-made disasters in Canadian history. This is one of those Swiss air trams operating right now. Oh yeah. So that man-made disaster, one of the worst in Canadian history, narrowed the chasm down to this 22 meters or 65 feet in width and there was a 15 foot or five meter waterfall. And imagine the plight of the wild salmon that this is a main artery or highway to get up to their spawning stream.